Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned about selection set functions. In this lesson, we will explore SSGET in more detail. There are many variations of SSGET function. You can use it as is without providing any filter or selection method, or you can compose a more complex selection set by combining different filter criteria and selection methods. Let's get started. The first one is just by issuing the ssget command like this. Then we can select objects. So we have selected three. And let's say we just list the previous. We have three. Another one is we can just uh, issue the ssget x command like this and Basically, this means that you are selecting every entity in the AutoCAD drawing. So, uh, let's say this previous, we have eight objects. Uh, next one, we will <coughs> store, excuse me, we will store the ssget function in, in a variable, SS, ssget. Then we can select the object. We have here the five objects selected. So let's say list the SS. We have five. Another one is we can store the entire object in in the SS variable also as well. SS get. Let's say we just wanted to get everything in the drawing. SS, we have list the uh, SS, we have all the eight objects. Now let's uh, try selecting using some of the selection methods, let's say crossing. So first off, we have to uh, create a point, a crossing point. So let's uh, get the first point, let's say the point one, get point. Let me start from here. And set you point two, and then get point. Let's say I'll I'll click somewhere here. So if, if we draw a line in in those two points, command line pt one pt two. So this is our line. Now, if we use these uh, uh, two points in our selection set, so let's say set Q as S, S is get crossing, and between those two points, and we list the SS, the SS, we have eight. Because we are do, we are using a crossing selection method, which means that all of these objects intersect in those two points from here to here. So let's say if we select by window, just press the we use this one here as window, which means it will only select whatever is inside the window, and we list the SS. We only have four. One, two, three, four. Because our point is somewhere here and here. Which means the text and the circle as well as the dimension are not inside our window uh, in, in our window selection coordinates. So we only have four. Next we can use the uh, filter object. Let's try selecting only those lines. Set you, let's say lines. This is get X. Then we can now specify. Remember the DXF, the drawing interchange format, the codes, zero for the object type, right? One, two, three, four. 
so which means that we're only selecting all the lines in this drawing so if we list those lines we have three one two and three okay so you can also select other different uh, objects let's say let's say the lightweight polylines and we list those uh, lines we have only one this one so you can play around and select different types of objects let's say circle of course you have to change the variable here make it more intuitive let's say circles list the circles we have only one here same is true with the the text let's say we store into the text variable zero is uh, the type of text is text and then if we list the value of text text we have one this one okay also for the dimension let's say set q dames as a variable for dimension s is get x zero and dimension List the value of dims. We have one. This one. Now we can also do a combination of of those objects. I mean the object properties. By the way, before I forget, we can also uh, select the the blocks in the drawing. Let's say BLKS as is get x zero and blocks are represented as insert so if we list the BLKS we have one this is the one attributed block now as I mentioned earlier we can do a combination of the object properties in our selection set for example we're going to select the lines with the, a dashed line only those dotted lines uh, we are interested in selecting. For example, set Q dash is just get line, close it. Then next filter criterion would be uh, what is the code for the line type? It is six. Then we specify here the, the line type. It is a dashed line type, right? So now we are excluding all of these solid lines here. If we list now the dashed, we only have one. Okay? Now we can also select based on the entity type and the layer for example we just select all those lines under the layer wall so we have here the layer wall so let's say I just wanted to select those layers in the in the layer wall I mean all those lines in the layer wall set Q lines as is get x let's start with the zero as the entity type line now let's start with the next would be the layer I mean so it is a wall so if we list now the lines we have three these are all the layer walls lines inside the layer wall now we can expand this selection set like we can add let's say uh, as previously uh, selected let's say the the dashed line so 
So now what do we get? We have one. So you can make as many combinations as you want to narrow down your selection set and uh, you can explore what's uh, what's being selected. So that, that's how SSGET works. It's very very powerful. I hope now you have a better understanding on its usage. We will apply all these different variations once we start developing our own custom functions. Next we will uh, explore SSAD and I'll see you in the next video.